Hey everyone, it's Jenny at JC Cards, and I'm joining you here today as part of Michelle Lupton's Challenge Me a Christmas card. She does it every year, and I've been lucky enough to be invited by Michelle to take part and challenge her the last two or three years in a row. This time round, I've decided to challenge Michelle to make a geometric Christmas card, and I'm joining along with her. So the card I'm going to show you today is the card I came up with as part of that challenge. Also linked to Michelle's blog down in the description box below if you want to go check out her card as well and I highly recommend it. So for today, I have listed all the supplies down in the description box below. I am using these amazing watercolor glitter paints from Paul Rubens. I saw these on Amazon quite a while ago. You can still get them, Just they just look really pretty. I will admit, I didn't have high hopes for them working amazingly, um, but I loved the tin and when I got them, I was super excited and I just wanted to show you what you get inside the palette because it's, I mean, the packaging is gorgeous, basically. Uh, you get a super sturdy cardboard box. It's almost like pink satin. When you open that up, there's a uh, kind of cloth. It feels almost like a glasses cloth, cleaning cloth. Um, you open that up, you've got a pink metal tin, very much like the uh, professional kind of watercolour tins you might get with um, Daniel Smith paints or, or Schmincke, uh, quite similar. It has a, a carrying loop underneath and that palette lifts out as well. It has a list of the colours, although they are in, uh, I think they're Japanese. And, and then every single um, pan is individually packaged. You can peel that label off. And you also get this card inside. So you can paint on a swatch of each of the colors and they are translated into English. So you can see what they're called as well. And I just wanted to show you a quick an opening of those because uh, I, I think a few people have been looking at them, eyeing them up and uh, this was my first time trying them out as well. So I'm also using this Legion watercolour cardstock. It's black. I saw this recommended by Christina Werner in a recent video on her holiday card series. And I'm also trying a technique that she showcased in um, a holiday card series, I think a couple of years ago now, where she tears off the bottom of the watercolour cardstock and then does a wash over the top. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Now, my first go at this card, I did actually uh, tape it down to my mat. And when I lifted up the tape, I was using low tack tape, it ripped the watercolour cardstock. So just be wary if you're using this cardstock that it is quite delicate. So it doesn't warp much though. I added two or three layers of uh, watercolour onto this card and I didn't get it warping at all. And I did use my heat tool to uh, dry it as well. So what I'm doing is I'm coming in with a, a wet paintbrush. My cardstock is not wet. I am using wet on dry technique and I'm swiping swatches of the colors from a dark silvery gray up through purple through to a pinky, uh, sorry, a bluey purple up through pink and then lighter pink to create my card. I then dried it and then repeated it two or three more times until I got the intensity of the color that I was happy with. So I dried it in between each and I'm using a round number 10 brush here by Silver Brush, but I'd recommend probably using a flat brush if you have one for this. Now for the geometric part of my card, I'm using my tried and trusted We Are Memory Keepers Next Level 3D Embossing Folder, which has this fantastic abstract pattern all over it. And I'm just placing my dried piece of watercolor inside and then running it through my die cutting machine. And I did leave the uh, torn piece peeping out slightly. And this is what you end up with. So that's my geometric look uh, for the challenge. I'm then going to pop it up onto a black note card top folding and add uh, 3M foam tape at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. Now I wanted to keep this quite clean and simple, so I'm using the Joyful Die by Simon Says Stamp. Uh, this is um, from a recent release by Simon Says Stamp and I really like the modern feel of it. And there's a number of ways you can use it. I kept the two dies together, it'll die cut a square, a border, an inner inside uh, negative, and then also the positive, you can pop out the letters. 
I'm using the negative piece only and I've popped out all of the letters and I've die cut it from uh, metallic gold cardstock. This is mirror, polished mirror from, I think it's tonic. And then I'm just gonna pop that up onto the middle of my card using Doris foam strips, not forgetting the center of the O. And then as a finishing touch, just to make it a little bit more Christmassy, I added some iridescent snowflake sequins in a few places with liquid glue. And that finishes my card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go and check out Michelle's post. I've listed her blog in the description box below as well as all the supplies I used. Here's a couple of other videos you might enjoy. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Click that bell to be reminded when I have a new video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.